I've got one thing to say for everybody around the world. Our God is fun, is he not? Life with God is so good. So come join us on this fun life where we put God in the center of everything. And this is Life with Gwen and Joe, and we're so happy to be here with you. This is my beautiful and lovely wife, Gwen. I like that part of the show. I'm so proud of her. I'm so proud of her. She's smart. Praise God. That's right. <laughs> and we're going to talk about how fun God is today. And I am an adventurer. I love the ocean. I love exploring. I love the forest. I love going camping. I love the outdoors. I love animals. I have my falconry license, and I think that hawks and eagles and falcons are one of God's most incredibly majestic creatures. To be up close to those animals takes my breath away. But that's one of the things that I feel God did for fun is he made all these things. It's like this incredible playground that's never ending. And I think that's very, very fun. It is very, very fun. And I'm sure you had a good time doing Tarzan and filming in Africa, seeing all the different animals. And I really enjoyed my time down there. I've been there four or five times and each and every time just awe-inspiring. It's a completely different world. I'm just so appreciative of all the imagination that went into making this playground for us. Okay, so when I was a child and we were raised, it was like God was austere, he was up there, you know, we're down below. And the last thing you thought of is that God is fun. I mean, that wasn't, I mean, and the fact was, a, a lot of people say before way down, they had believed that, you know, here was bacon, but they couldn't eat it. There was uh, the best smelling stuff on the planet, and they couldn't eat it. They loved blue cheese dressing, but they couldn't eat it. Uh, they loved pizza, but that was a no-no food. And so then you go back in there and say, no, 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 no. God is the God of pizza. You're kidding me, it's not Domino's, it is not Pizza Hut, it is God Almighty. These are His recipes. If it tastes good, He created it, then He makes your taste buds and He makes it match. And what's interesting, when you taste pizza and I taste pizza, we have the same thing going on in our brain. Isn't that cool? So I can it's go taste Italian cream cake and it'll taste like Italian cream cake. And then I can say, taste this coconut cake and it'll taste like coconut That's I don't know, I'm sorry, that's just like too cool to me. It's like blows my mind. He wants us to see that he's the one that made it fun. He's not the one. He gets blamed for all the tragedies and all the, the bad stuff. And there is there is a wrath out there, but there is a, but for the most part, God has created everything and put us in a time and place so that we can reach out and find him. And that's uh, found in Acts 17. Verse 24, mm -hmm. the God who made the world and everything in it is the Lord of heaven and the earth and does not live in temples built by hands. And he is not served by human hands as if he needed anything because he himself gives all men life and breath and everything else. From one man, he made every nation of men that they should inhabit the whole earth and he determined times set for them and the exact places that they should live. God did this so that men would seek him and perhaps reach out for him and find him, though he is not far from each one of us. For in him we live and move and have our being. Wow, okay, Man. so God is not far. So when we were children, we were talking about how it was like far, I mean, it was like, I mean, a lot of times you felt like, you know, your prayers were hitting the ceiling or was he really listening? You prayed worldwide prayers and pray for the poor and pray for this. And I mean, it wasn't as specific. Now we know, God, God, can you help me find my keys? God, can you help me find this? God, can you help me with this issue, that issue? I mean, with everything, he's right there, which like adds to the fun factor like crazy to know you can triangle it and you can pray and go to him and move mountains. And it's fun to watch like, hey, will that mountain move or that mountain move? And I've been witness to Gwen saying in the name of Jesus Christ, <laughs> let us do this. And I'm not kidding. I have, I've never seen anything like it. She'll pray for something and it will happen. Like we'll find what we're looking for or something. You know, the, the change will take place that we just prayed about and it's an amazing thing. It's, it's an amazing, powerful thing to prayer. Prayer is an amazingly powerful thing. Oh, it is so and cool. 
It is so cool. So everything that God's done, He said He may put everybody in the time and the place. So you were born the year you were born. You were put in the city that you were put in or the, the location that you're at. You were put in, um, you know, He puts them so that you would reach out, perhaps reach out and find Him because God, it says, is not far from each one of us because we live and we breathe and this is how we have our being is in him reach out to him and then we have our being you know how i know that's so true cool. do you know how i know that's true because i moved out here from the west coast and i moved right across the street from this remnant fellowship church and i met my soulmate the best friend i've ever had in my life who's sitting right next to me and I'm just, God, God, God put me right here in this spot to meet this person. And I know that that was not a random thing. God led me into this woman's life, and I'm just very, very thankful. Man, am I thankful. Oh, I mean, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful for everything, the support. I can't best believe. Friend, the I best can't believe friend it. ever right We're here. so appreciative. Yeah. Thank you, God. Thank you. Even that, all that God's created, it is all, there's something there in a, in a glory to everything that's out there. And so find the good in it. And uh, life is fun. We love to dance. We love to sing. We love to. We. I can't sing. You can sing. And you play it coy, but it's kind of cute. Oh, when you smile at me, you know exactly what to do. Baby, don't pretend that you don't know it's true. Cause you can see it when I look at you. We play. We have fun. We like to go help the needy, the hurting. It's a mixture of work and play and worship and all of it together. When you stir the whole pot together, it spells F-U-N. So That's I love right. it. I love this life. Me Thank too, you, God. Darling. When you do it God's way, I mean, God loves beautiful food, beautiful yeah. fellowship. God and church is fun. These people are the most fun-loving wonderful people and I think there's a stigma attached to people who, who read the Bible or who, who come to church and who, who try to live righteous lives that, that, that they're kind of maybe that they're not fun people that they're kind of like you know too godly or something in the mud. that's right like a stuffed shirt or they, they, yeah. they're, they're too prudish or something but these people love to have fun oh, take it from word. me they, they, they love to dance they love to, to cook and eat good food it's just ironic because Gwen is the author and founder of Way Down Ministries. And there's a book right here called Way Down Works. And it's a weight loss program through getting closer to God and, and doing it for God. But the funny thing is, is that I've never seen more food in one place at one time than, than coming to this church. The food here is incredible. Very and incredible. And we, we love to cook and we love to have the best food I've ever seen yet everybody really knows how to watch their weight and not overeat. So Way Down Works, and the operative word here is works, because the people that read this book and follow its principles uh, have kept their weight off for years. Years, and so then you go in there and say, God's really fun. You thought that he was no fun? He is fun, and the food that you get to eat is fun. And it's just inside of his boundaries. Inside of his boundaries, life is fun. From the smallest to the oldest here, everybody loves everybody, and that's a part of when you really get into loving God, everybody blends together, and you don't have to, to worry about anything. You can be yourself at every age. It is beautiful. Absolutely. Inspiring. Very, very inspiring. inspiring. Well, we hope we inspired you today. Absolutely. Thank you for joining us. We're very honored that you tune in. We're very thankful. And I love my wife. And uh, we're so happy to be here on, on this show. And we're very thankful to God for everything that we have every day. Fathers, mothers, get your kids together. Pray with them. Read the Bible. And watch your family flourish.
Saga. Give it more strength, like leaves die. One day you'll be lighter. Dad, I say, give me reasons. You're a thriver. In dark seasons, a survivor. Autumn had the leaves are dry. Brother, how do you fight? I'll keep shining my light. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so you are notified when we have a new video. Thankful for living, thankful for living, yeah.